Hi everybody, welcome back. Now in this video, I am going to show how to download the uploaded files. For example, you have a file picker component on a page using which you upload the multiple files and you show those uploaded files in a table. In that table, you would like to give a functionality, you would like to give a column using which a user can download the file which is uploaded by him or her so that he actually can see what actually file I have uploaded just to view. So let's look at and see how this functionality can be achieved in Visual Builder. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a page here in my application. Let's say download uploaded files, create. And here, let's use the file picker component first of all this file picker component will allow us to upload multiple files and then we are going to put our table component here in this table component will show all the files file name file size and content type which is uploaded using that file picker action right so first of all what i'm going to do i'm going to create a type variable here custom let's say file data object type create so in this we'll add few things like say file it's a any type let's say file name it's a string type all right let's say content type create new and let's say size all right okay string type fine i'm going to create a variable here the variable is like my um, files adp and it's going to be an array data provider and create so this i will take this as a file type and key attribute i will choose this as a index all right fine go back to your page designer and here i'm going to choose this adp under the data section file adp and whatever field i need to show i will show let's say file name size and content and here i'm going to add one extra field here new empty column and this i will choose as a download right and all right and here i'm going to use our icon and we'll put this icon onto this download. All right. It's not allowing me. All right. Let me put it here. Fresh. And maybe it will allow you now. All right. Sometimes it creates a problem. All right. So what we can do? Go to the design. So we can do programmatically as well. If it is not allowing us to do. So we can create a template here and let's say slot and let's say download. All right, and now put that icon here. All right, fine, no bind data, all right. Now this slot, I'm going to put where here template fine all right if you go back to design all right so there's no data hence it is not showing anything all right so what i can do i can go back to this structure we'll go to this icon go to the properties and we'll change the icon to let's say download fine and if i go back the code i don't think so i need it all right fine fine okay now i'm going to create one more variable files and let's say file all right all right go to data and go to this file and let's go to the event, let's say 
on selected files. All right. So I'm going to create one more variable here. First of all, let's say file array and it's array type create. All right. And I can add more fields here. Let's say file, the similar field that we have added in the type, any file name, string type, let's say content type, and let's say size. So the field name is exactly the same as we have added here. Great, let me check one thing, size, okay, fine. File array. Now go back to this action chain that we just created and let's make a for each loop here. All right, so I will use a sign and will use this files array to the items because in this we will receive all the files and looping over and we'll use the assign action here. Assign and under this file array. So all right, so I will put it here. Okay, and current dot index. Put it here. And I will put this is a type. Type of the file. So it will give me the file type. Right. Again, I will do the same thing here on the file. Current dot index. All right. Then again here. Dot name. And then dot size. All right. Save. All right. And then after this, I'm going to use assign action again, assign, and then I'm going to assign this file array to this guy and save. That's it. Now let me run this page and see what happens now. Let me go to the live and let me upload a few, few files here. Download. All right. All right. So here you see, I have uploaded three different files and you can see the size, the content type and this guy. Okay, so it does not show anything. Let me upload one more file here. All right. Okay, so it's showing one duplicate file. So what I have to do, I have to use empty here. All right, I will use empty. is empty. Here also I will make empty. I guess this is not required to make empty. Okay, fine. Empty and save. Fine. Go back to designer now. Let me add file here. Two files. All right. So I don't think so. I need to make this empty here. Default. Fine. All right. So again, it creates a problem. Default. No, no, this all right. All right, so I could see two files. Now let me add one more file here. All right, so I see. Now, what I need to do when I click on this download button, the file should be downloaded. All right, so let's go back to the design, go to the properties, and let's click on this icon and let's generate an event here. Okay, so here I'm going to write one JavaScript function, first of all, which will allow me to download the file and let's say function of a download file, let's say file. So I have to write a little JavaScript function here. All right. So here is my JavaScript function. So here this is a file that I'm passing and here 
this will content type i can let's say file dot type all right i hope i'm good now i will go to the action and we'll call this function and then download file and in this file let's say current dot row dot file save that's it now let's run this page and see how it works now let me first of all change it to download all right and download it will be like up download uploaded files fine let's run this now All right, let's upload a few files here. All right. All right. Okay, so I have uploaded four different files here. Okay, and you can see, and I can upload more files if I want. Let me do one thing. All right, so I have uploaded one more, right? So let's say, download this. You can see this file is downloaded with the same name that is the file name you see so you are able to download each and every file that you have uploaded here so now users can open this file and then can view which file has been uploaded so i hope you guys found this video useful and yes please please keep commenting and i will be happy to answer you thank you bye bye